Adversity is one of those things that nobody can escape. You know, and I think the adversity that I've faced in my life has been the, the root of a lot of the triumphs that I now, that I can now uh, celebrate. Playing this sport, I have the opportunity to show society what people with disabilities are truly capable of. The amount of athleticism, the amount of, uh, you know, integrity we have as athletes. Um, every day that I get into my basketball chair, every time that I put on my Team USA jersey, I have an opportunity to show the world. And that's what I love about wheelchair basketball. My name is Matt Scott. I'm a five-time Paralympic wheelchair basketball player and a Paralympic gold medalist. Well, I've been playing on the U.S. national team since 2003. I was selected when I was 17, made my first Paralympic team when I was 18. Um, I just, I grew up loving basketball. I was born with my disability. It's called spina bifida. Um, I'm affected in my L4, L5 region. Um, and I also have a secondary disability uh, with both my feet are amputated. My story began when I first started playing in juniors, um, and I was highly recruited uh, to play in the collegiate division. Um, I, was, uh, I was recruited to play for, for the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, which I went and played there. After college, I, I was recruited to play um, abroad. It felt very amazing to, to first hear that, uh, that I was going to be a professional athlete, uh, because as a, as a kid growing up with a disability, you're often told that that won't be an option for you. Everything that you dream, just keep going for it. Um, no matter what they say, no matter, you know, if people tell you that you'll never, you'll never earn a living playing wheelchair basketball. Never have a doubt. If you believe it, go get it. Back in 2018, um, I, I had a very, very bad health scare. Um, I, had, I had, some, had some pressure sores that actually went, uh, it went septic. Um, I went into a septic shock, spent four months in the hospital. A lot of scary things happened. Um, that, that led me to, um, it led me to, the, to get into this type of innovation. I wanted to get into some seating that I knew was gonna protect my body, protect my skin. Um, so um, reverting back to the, to the bucket seat, there's, there's, there's ability to, to pad it a bit differently than you can pad a traditional wheelchair basketball chair. And that keeps me safe because if, um, if I can't be on the court, then I, then I can't play. This seat is absolutely fitted for me. Um, I can, I mean, it, I can just feel the grooves. Like I'm, I'm just so comfortable at the moment. Um, and comfort is everything. I started thinking about skin health probably after the fact, um, unfortunately. Um, and I, I think it's, it's a goal of mine to, to get, to get athletes that are coming after me to prioritize that kind of stuff. Because, uh, I think being preventative and being proactive is so much better than being reactive. Um, as of right now, me, a, adjusting to this new equipment it's a reaction you know this is a this is a reactive movement i hope that i can do this reactive movement so you don't have to so the next person doesn't have to um it's it's something that i that i hope that people make that adjustment and they don't find themselves in a situation to where they have any health scares or any skin issues A lot is going through my brain thinking about, thinking about Tokyo right now. It's important right now is just sort of refocusing, um, putting all that excitement into execution. Prepare, prepare, prepare. I'm just gonna focus on the things that I can focus on and um, I'm sure that we're gonna have a great performance when we get there. <laughs>